Hello, I hope you're doing well. Susan's inside doing a little bit of cleaning. I've been tidying up camp a little bit. And I thought it'd be a great time to show you around our campsite and let you see some of the gear that we're currently using. First up is our pop-up canopy. We use this to give us a little bit of shade and sometimes privacy and of course keep the rain off of us when it's uh, sprinkling a little bit. And this one's about two years old now and we're about to put it to rest. It's got a little bit of uh, damage to the frame from high winds and the top is starting to leak quite a bit despite having put a lot of uh, waterproofing on it uh, from time to time and it's just gotten dry rotted and everything so we're going to go ahead and put it to rest but we did another video about pop-up canopies that we've uh, had how we install them and what we put on it and stuff like that so you can check that out this one's been pretty good to us the frame's been uh, pretty nice but they just don't hold up well in high winds everything but it's definitely a good place to to sit in and get out of the sun and just have a little bit of privacy we put up some lights in here we were going to put up rope lights but we found those to be quite expensive and these lights were only like seventeen dollars for a strand they are LED and they light up white at night and we can push a button and we can have multicolored lights when we desire so those look pretty colorful if we're in for a little bit of change we have these shade cloths we have a couple of them now they're really nice we like them because they're rectangular in shape instead of that diamond or sail shape that you commonly see they just become more functional for us this way as you can see we're using them on the side of our pop up and it gives us shade and gives us a little bit of privacy and still lets some air through. These are very durable, great fabric and they come with a rope already attached on the corners. These have been really good uh, for this purpose and we've also used them when it's very bright and sunny and hot to go over our windows even though we have the double pane darkened tinted windows it's still really nice to have the added shade cloth when it's very hot this is our grill we like it because it's nice and compact we can even put it in a storage tub and stow it away when we're on the road it's got a pretty good amount of space in there got my little grill brush there we've been using it uh, quite a bit in the last few days this one's a new one we try to replace them every few years if they need it and hopefully this one will last uh, longer than the others have Something I'm really liking a lot is this new propane tank that I got. We used to carry around the standard five gallon one and that just got so uh, heavy and awkward to maneuver with. This one I can lift up quite easily. It's very light, it's full right now. Of course, we set it on the ground when we're uh, actually grilling, we set it down below. Let me give you a little bit of idea how big that is. That's a standard, eight ounce uh, bottle of sanitizer there and you can see that it's uh, quite a small tank we like it very much another thing that we've got recently susan found these uh, silicone mats we put one in our kitchen under our multifunction uh, cuisinart oven and that helps protect our counters and then out here it helps to protect uh, the picnic tables at the various sites that we go to so this is coming handy and we even got a little mat down here that we moved uh, from the old one in the kitchen when, when it was replaced and I just stand on this when I'm cooking and it takes a little bit of that back pain away. Something else that comes in quite handy, if you've been watching our channel for a while you know that we like closed cell phone pads or inflatable pads that we take in our packs with us when we're out on excursions. Anytime we want to sit down on a bench or a rock or a stump or something like that and it's uh, really cold or icy or maybe just greasy or dirty, we go ahead and put mats down. And I got these, this four pack of these little kneeling mats that are great for putting on picnic tables when we're in camp. So people can sit down and have a comfortable little seat. They're cheap. And I thought it was a pretty good idea. They come in handy. Something I absolutely love to have in camp, don't get to use that often. By the way, check out our beach talk on rest. I need to watch it again myself. 
this hammock is called the Kamek Rue Double. It is absolutely amazing. The fabric is so soft. It's just wonderful to lay in. It's just very, very comfortable. I've got this tarp over it now, and that's basically to keep sap and bird crap off of it. And I can also uh, just flip the tarp off when I'm under it and want to look up at the sky. And if the bugs are bad, I also have a bug net that I can put on it. But it's really enjoyable. Love having one with me. I like tucking them in a pack. These things just pack down to, to nothing. They can scrunch up into a little stuff sack and I can throw them into a pack and just put them up in the woods for a rest or between any two posts that is appropriate to, to hold it where it's allowed. And it's just amazing. Just so comfortable. And if you know anything about this parachute style hammocks, you know that you cannot roll out of them like some of those other uh, spreader bar uh, hammocks that are typical in backyards. But very nice. Just happen to have some straps on it to protect the trees instead of a cord that can cut through. But just absolutely a pleasure to lay in. Give you a little pan around campsite here. But first, see a berry that's ready for picking. When you got to stay in place, this makes it a little bit comfortable to just have a few extra little things come in handy. That's not all of our outdoor gear, but it's what we're currently using. We'd love to know what you find useful in your site. So please comment, share, subscribe, and click on that little notification bell. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.